Despite turning 40 years old this November, two-time World Marathon champion Edna Kiplagat will be out to prove age is no barrier as she aims for a third marathon world title on Friday in Doha. However, the race will be run at midnight local time, the same time as Kenya, due to the extreme heat in the Middle East at this time of the year. Daegu 2011 and Moscow 2013 women's marathon champion Edna Kiblagat has unfinished business at the World Championships on Friday. In Doha, she will be aiming to go one better than London 2017, where she was beaten to silver by Bahrain's Rose Chalimo, who denied her a place in the annals of history as the first three-peat winner of the women's marathon. Kip Lagat will line up at the start with teammates Ruth Chepnetich and Vislin Chepkesho as they aim to wrest the title from Chilimo in a race that will feature five sub-220 women and five more below 223. We are ready to go and represent our country well. So uh, we have had good training so far. Everything is going on well. And we thank God because we have never had any injuries. The women's marathon will be raced at midnight local time due to the extreme heat and humidity in September. Doha may have built an air-conditioned stadium for the track and field events, but you can't air-condition 26.2 miles of road. As a result, the weather will be cooler, although it will still be hot, 34 degrees centigrade with 80% humidity. The late start also presents other problems. For one, the athletes will have to prepare their bodies to be at their best from midnight to 2.30 a.m. And what will the fan support be like? How many Qataris will be lining the streets to watch this race at 2 a.m.? All those questions will be answered on Friday. All the best to the team on Friday. Moving on, Athletics Kenya President Jackson Tuway failed in his bid to be elected as one of the four vice presidents of the International Association of Athletics Federation, that is IAAF, as well as a council member. Tuway finished sixth in the vice presidency race Polling 62 votes, nine behind third place Nawan Nawaf bin Mohammed Al Saud in the IAAF Congress in Doha, Qatar. Zimena Restrepo was voted as the first female vice president, with the three other seats going to Sergi Bubka, Geoffrey Gardner, and Al Saud. This as Sebastian Koh was re elected and opposed as president of the IAAF for a second term. Cole, the former Olympic and world champion middle distance runner, was named head of the governing body of world athletics in 2015 and received his second mandate just two days before the World Athletics Championships opens in Doha on Friday. And back home, Gorma here have an uphill task of overturning a 4-1 first leg loss to USM Alger in the Champ CAF Champions League second leg. But the players are upbeat that they can achieve the feat within 90 minutes come Sunday. The KPL defending champions need a 3-0 scoreline to eliminate their counterparts from Algeria and make it to the group stage of the competition for the first time in the modern CAF Champions League era. Gonmaya players will be hoping to put aside their financial woes and put all their efforts into searching for a vital win when they take on Algeria's USM Alger in the CAF Champions League first round return tie at the Kasarani Stadium this Sunday. Kogalo, who have had it rough since their main sponsor, Sport Pesa, terminated all sports sponsorship once the new betting and gaming rules were imposed, faced more challenges in their travel for their way tie in Algeria, a factor that contributed to their 4 1 loss. Issue ya malipo na club ya ni kitu ambayo ni tofauti lakini kama mchezaji unajitambua na angalia kali yako ni, ni game kubwa ni game ya champion for Africa lazima uwe lazima ujitolee ili upate soko kwingine kwa hiyo issue ya malipo na kapembeni unapoenda kwenye ukiwa una 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 unataka mafanikio lazima uonyeshe Oh, for that one, it's not a problem because oh, you, you cannot rely on those things because of football. W once you're a professional, you need to rely on the football and forget about the money. When you get to the field, just forget about the money and play your game. That's all. The prize pass at the group stage will, however, only serve to motivate the players ahead of the crunch tie. Participation at the group stage comes with a reward of 55 million shillings. Gormahia, who are out to revenge losing to the Algerians in the quarterfinals in the last year's CAF Confederation Cup, will miss the services of Ivorian striker Francis Afirie and Clifton Mieso due to late registration. Striker Nicolas Kipkirui should be fit after missing their KPL tie against KCB last weekend. 
tunajaita kwa rais kwa sababu kiangalia tunahitaji mabao matatu na pia at the same time pia lazima tu defend vizuri ndio wasifunge so kila mchezaji yako tayari na anajua tunataka nini at the end of the day nao pia ilikuwa rais kutufunga kwa hiyo hakuna kitu rais lazima na sisi tufanye juhudi ili tuweze kushinda hakuna kitu ambacho kitakuwa rais hakuna ambacho ambacho kinashindikana ni juhudi tukijitolea tunaweza kushinda kama walivyotufunga na sisi tunaweza kuwafunga kwetu uh, as we are focused uh, on the game on Sunday uh, there is nothing bringing us down the aggregate winner will proceed to the competition's group stages while the loser will have a lifeline and drop to the CAF Confederation Cup's playoff round